Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We have a change of scenery. I switched up locations. I have a full desk prepared in front of me of makeup under $10. I would say 90% of it is from Essence. I missed the mark on two items, a bronzer and maybe a liner, but I just wanted to do like a full face, good drugstore that's beneath that $10 mark. So everything will have prices up. We're gonna play, talk, try. I kind of feel like being perhaps a little bit risky with my makeup today. I am feeling like doing something a little more smoky or colorful. So we're gonna dive right on in. If you are new here, I'm Tati. I love trying all of the makeup, literally all of it, and bringing to you guys reviews in action and best worst, all of that. If you're into it, subscribe and ring the bell and Let's hop right in. All right, so Essence recently came out with these new primers. We have a Hydro Hero primer. We have a Poreless Partner primer. Mattifying and blurring with niacinamide won't clog pores. That's front and center for me. We also have a Redness Reducer primer. Balancing and calming with green tea extract. We don't need this. We, we don't, maybe James would need this. Did I just throw my own husband under the bus? He has redness to his face and a green neutralizer does work, tip from me to you. That's typically not my problem. My problem for me, not moisturizer either because I have that oil in my foundation technique that I am loving. If you wanna see what that is about, I will link a video below about some skincare techniques that I am very much into. Everything said and done, we're narrowing it down to, you guessed it, a pore filling primer. Let's check out the texture. I like these kind of dispensers on here. Sometimes like with makeup, when they don't do this, it's like waste your product central. That smells fresh. I'm just, I'm gonna take a moment and think about what kind of eyeliner, shadow, sitch I'm into. I was saving inspo pictures online. I haven't done that in a minute, which to me was like, whoa, whoa. Are we feeling like getting back into like the wild makeup? Are we feeling like kind of color theming things out, practicing, prepping, doing all of that? I kind of have an appetite. It came back. It's been void and gone for a minute, but I'm just all of a sudden like new year, new me. We're gonna ride the wave as long as we can. You guys know whenever I do a new primer, I do not like to do a new foundation. So we're gonna go in with the current absolute obsession, the Revlon Color Stay, because I'm going out after this. It is my anniversary. So this is also, this is my anniversary makeup and I don't know, I wanna like dazzle my husband. We've been together for 13 years. Oh my gosh. Um, 13, it has been a ride. We were just talking about our first date, you guys. Oh my gosh. I asked him over breakfast, I was like, what is your favorite part of our very, very first date? And it almost made me wanna sit down and do a video with James talking about how we met that first date what he was thinking, he literally went home that night and he was like, I knew, I knew you were the one and I put all your pictures from online together and I sent them to my mom and I was like, I found the woman I'm gonna marry. And like to hear that that actually happened after our first date, I'm like, oh my gosh, like what? I've heard him share with me a few times before of like his take on our meeting and what his perspective was. I never tire of hearing it for one, but also it's like he gives me a little bit more, like a little a little more look into all of it. And I just, oh, it's so romantic. Okay, so let's pitter patter this on the face. Also, someone please explain to me what is in this foundation that makes it do what it is doing, okay? It's so thin and so full. Like you're, you are full coverage. We are full, like this thing, which by the way is a scar at this point. Oh my gosh, don't pick at your face. Don't be like me, don't do it. We need some concealer. Essence has a brand new concealer. This is the Keep Me Covered Concealer. It has no fragrances, 
That's a call out that I can get behind right on the front. For me, no fragrance and concealer is such a big deal. I'm like, I'm sold, I'll take it because my eyes tend to get very, very irritated when things, especially right underneath the eye are overly fragranced. I can handle a little bit in primers. If there's like a tinted moisturizer and the scent goes away pretty quickly, like I can be fine with that. But in my preference, I would prefer for my eyes to not burn. I think that that is important. This is made in Poland. It's a vegan formula. This is the shade Warm Shell. I like this doe foot applicator. It's one of those skinny ones that kind of just picks up the perfect amount of product. That's a little yellow, that's okay. We're gonna just play and try. Thin formula. I keep saying thin, thin, thin. This is my new thing. I still want product to perform, but I don't want that gloppy thickness. I don't want as much detectable makeup on the skin. I'm kind of picky because I want it to be full coverage at the same time. That feels like an impossible task for makeup, but you can find that. So I always tell people like, make sure when you're deciding what to buy as far as makeup goes, what do you want? Some people want a thicker formula. Some people don't want full coverage you know, really narrow down what does my skin need? And you know what my skin needs? Perfection. I don't want my sunspots or anything to poke through. I wanna look as unmade up as possible when it comes to the skin. Who wants crunchy, bunchy makeup? Not me. So I do appreciate a thin formula. How are we doing with, that's actually really nice. I'm gonna take a little of the excess up on the eyes. Does not look like it's settling in my creases. I like it. The Keep Me Covered Concealer is infused with aloe vera. It also is free of silicones and mineral oil. I like it. We are hopeful for how this one will wear. Okay, now I have another Essence product right here. This is their powder foundation. It's a 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. I have so many different shades. I purchased a bunch myself and then to be totally transparent, I got a bunch in PR. Which one do we want to do? Ooh, that's pretty. This is natural suede. I don't like the sponge that comes in here. So, but I usually don't use these guys that come in here anyway. It's kind of like a, you know, that's not gonna make me not like a product. This powder is super, super beautiful. We're gonna go in with Fair Ivory and I'm actually going to take a beauty blender, go right in, load it up. It is a powder foundation. This is a bit more coveragey. I like how this sets makeup. It's talc free, which I also really, really love. My pores love that. I just feel like it wears really, really well. And it looks like a more high end powder foundation. Like it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Makeup Forever powder foundation that I love so much. It just has that kind of a texture. It's very velvety. And look how your pores just kind of like vanish. Like they vanish and it does not cake up, which is like what? I'm so erased. You can't see any of the junk that I don't want you to see. Now I don't have a bronzer, so I am going to go into this Superstay 24 hour wear hybrid powder foundation. I used this in a recent drugstore try on. I will link that below. Yo, I love this. It's not a wet texture. It has this fluffy kind of, like you can just feel that there are moisturizing ingredients in the actual texture of the powder. It wears really well and I have been using it every day. We are now gonna go into a new product that I am so excited about because I know that I already really, really love this formula. This is the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. This is gonna give us like a nice radiant glow. This is such a dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Powder. So if you like the ambient blushes, the ambient bronzers, that kind of a texture, this is really nice. so pretty. I really hope that that is showing up for you guys. It's just giving this nice little like 
cute glow. This is more what I would consider I'm a real human being makeup. Sometimes a lot of the highlight that we see in reels, that we see in tutorials online, it looks great on camera in photos, but in real life, it's exaggerating a lot of things that we probably don't wanna exaggerate as far as pores and fine lines. This does not do that. So I really love the soft glow that you get. It's very, very pretty. If you have a concern over texture being exaggerated with anything reflective, I would definitely check that one out. I think it's under like five bucks. And then we have the Essence Highlighter. This is in number three, Staggering. We are just gonna do just the minimum. We're gonna go boom, boom, boom. And right up top here, just to add a little extra outside of the blush. Wow, that is definitely picking up a reflection from the light. It's not as intense in my mirror, but it's there. That is so pretty. I do like that. Um, I have these eight hour, Essence just came out with these. They sent me these. What are we doing? What are we doing? Am I gonna do like a more different kind of a thing? I kind of want to, that's kind of nice, right? Formula is very creamy. It reminds me of Maybelline Color Sensational. This is not as many dollars. I never wear this color and I kind of like it. I'm gonna pop on top a little bit of a lipstick. This is the Hydramat, kind of a confusing name. Love the packaging. The packaging alone just makes me feel happy. I like a good neon. It's just like, I suddenly am like, ah, I'm in a better mood. It's bright, it's cute. Um, they have some really pretty colors. I really do like Essence Lippies. I've loved their Sharpen Up liners in the past. I think if you wanna try something kind of outside of your comfort zone, maybe don't spend $30 on a lipstick. Go to the drugstore, get something that's under five bucks, and then you can kind of tell, you know, what what's your speed, you know what I'm saying? I think this is gonna work. Ooh, that's like the same shade, Hydra Matte 401 in Mauve Mint. I'm gonna leave it like that for right now, which, I will be honest, I like a shiny lip. I don't really do matte lips that much. This has a nice creaminess to it, so you can tell there are hydrating properties in there. I will likely put a gloss on top. Tell me in the comments, do you guys like matte? Are we into that? Or are you like, absolutely no, I need something creamy, I wanna wear a gloss. Where are you at with lip trends? I'm just gonna go into this Welcome to Miami palette and go into this brown right here. Whoa, and we're just gonna have a good attitude that this will be a color that will work. All right, so why out of all the products I use on my eyebrows, why am I like actually super loving the texture of this and the color, like both? Oh, I love a secret gem, I love it. When you find like that palette that you're like, oh no, don't even like, yeah, the other shadows are cute and everything, but like spend the $10, it's that brown. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. I almost always hate my brows and today I'm okay with them, which is a big deal. Like I didn't stress out. I could just put on some mascara and go, but I'm not gonna do that um, because I want to play with color. The color I want to play with is this. I don't know if it goes with, does it go with my outfit? I don't know, does it? Can I get away with it? Mm, I can change my shirt. I just saw this color and I'm like, I have not done anything that color in a minute and I just really wanted to. I don't know why, why this urge is over me, but it is. It's makeup, it washes off. Let's have fun. I'm gonna go ahead and go in first with, this is gonna be scary. I'm scaring myself. We're going in with this shade that has the flamingo on it that is purple with a fluffy brush. Dip, 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 tap, 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 lean back and we're just gonna 
jump off the deep end together. I usually like to start eye looks with a brown or a neutral in the crease. And on top of it, purple is a difficult color to get smooth. This is very dangerous what I'm doing, but I had an idea and I wanted to do it. Okay, so now it's pretty good. I like it. This brush, by the way, is so good. This is the Letitia Lamac FF6. Not drugstore, but such a good, good brush. Shocked at the blendability. Shocked that there is not any fallout. I'm gonna scoot you guys closer because I think we need to be more, more here for this moment. Much better. Okay, we're gonna now go into another dangerous color right here, this deeper purple. And I'm going to use a more precise brush. I'm taking a Letitia Lamac MC. I'm going to make sure the color gets right on the tip. And I am just gonna pull this through kind of the outer half. Out like that. We're at the point of no return, so let's just get on with it. I'm gonna spritz my brush. I have a MAC 280. I have a MAC 280 right here. We're gonna spritz away with this Catrice Ultra Last Fixing Spray. Um, this has no alcohol in it, no perfume. Oh, love. Okay, we're gonna go in to that magenta shade. She's pretty. All right, we're in it. We are in it. So most days I'm all about the neutral tones, but it is funny that makeup sometimes is a literal craving. Like it's like, I need to try this. I just feel like I need to. Raspberry, magenta, smoky, purple eye, why not? Need liner. I'm breaking the rules. Ah, I don't have a line a liner on hand, and I just have to do this. It's fine. This is from Stila. I'm breaking my. I'm, it's not drugstore. It's okay. I'm gonna go in with this Like a Boss mascara. This is the Ultra Black Mascara. It says instant volume and length. I'm into both. Let's do it. Let us do it. Do I have a lash curler back here? This is the problem of dividing my room out. And you know what? This look is worth it. I'm gonna go get a lash curler. Be right back. This is a thick formula. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. It will give you lashes though. No doubt about it. Let's see on the lower. And with Essence, they, no exaggeration, have like 500 different formulas. God bless them. They have a mascara for every human being on planet Earth. I do love a lot of their mascaras though. $2.99, $3.99, like I don't know how they have maintained the pricing because we know the world's crazy right now. Inflation is, you know, everywhere. 
And for brands that are less expensive, I think it's it's amazing when they can keep their pricing pretty good. So I noticed that. This is not a sponsored video. I just do like a lot of their products and I had a lot to try. I like it. Okay. Um, ooh, I am feeling very fancy. Okay, we are going to now pop on some lashes. I'm a little bit intimidated to try their lashes out because I am a picky woman when it comes to lashes. I do have some Ardell's on hand in case I don't love this because it, look, it's my anniversary. Like I need my, my makeup to be comfortable tonight. Um, that's comfortable to me. Let's go for it. This is the Lash Like a Boss and this is in Irresistible. I like it. The band is quite thick. I'm gonna use some Duo Formaldehyde and Latex Free Lash Glue. Hello, Doge. Oh my gosh, these lashes. The lashes. Yo. Woo. All right, guys, this is the finished look and it is actually now about a half an hour later from when you saw me last struggling with those lashes. They are beautiful, but you, maybe you should leave. <laughs> I regret, <laughs> I regret it. We're having yeah. lighting issues. I changed my lashes and I'm like, you can stay in here. I can do this. You, you remind me of an old song. What's that? Should I stay or should I go now? I know, I'm sorry. Thank I'm you, sorry. bye. Bye-bye. All these years later, all these years later, and I still get like this feeling when James is in the room watching me film. If he's participating and talking, I'm fine with it. If he's just sitting there like staring at me, I still cannot even like make a reel, do IG stories, nothing. I'm like, can you like leave? Let's focus, let's focus. The makeup is cute. I am loving it. What I was not loving is that I got glue in my eye trying to lock in the inner corner of my lash. We've all been in that fight. If you use false lashes, you know what I'm talking about. It just like, think, like does not wanna stay down. So this lash glue right here from Duo is not strong enough. I like the lashes. I would like to revisit them. They're like really bright and fluffy, but not like too overpowering for my eye. And I was really excited about it, but I got glue in my eye. And then I was thinking for some odd reason that the glue in my eye was making this eye smaller. Long story short-ish, I put on the Ardell 421s. They are making this makeup day so extra special. I love this look. I feel like the skin looks velvety, flawless. I am wearing a different color type of a lip than I normally would. And of course, while I was just like fussing around and playing with more makeup after I turned the camera off, I put on this What The Fake Essence Lip Plumping Filler just in the center. And you guys, I was expecting it to be more of a clear gloss. This has a little bit of color to it. I'm in love. Oh my gosh, nobody at the drugstore does glosses quite like Essence. They are my favorite for glosses. So here we are, the finished whole look. I love it, that eyeshadow is A+. The baked blush, oh my gosh, dreamy, whether you are full glam or out the door, natural, whatever. It just looks good on everyone. It is so universally flattering. I'm really happy I was able to try so much out at once, get it done on a budget. Everything except for that liner, under 10 bucks. Let's give a thumbs up for that. And if you wanna see more drugstore try-ons, chit chat videos like this, let me know. Give the video a thumbs up, leave your requests below, subscribe, ring that bell, and just go have a good one, whatever you are doing. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.